And welcome to another episode of Widows and Fly Fishing. Uh, yesterday I tied up a new uh, fly for you, uh, an old classic, Streaking Caddis. Today I'm going to tie Elk, -like, Elk Hair Caddis. I tied up a bunch of those for a friend of mine, so uh, I have all the materials on the table, so I don't uh, make another video. So I start with uh, telling you a little about this fly. Uh, this fly is uh, LK Cadiz, of course. Uh, this is size 14. And uh, the materials I use for this fly is uh, the hook is uh, Dry Fly Supreme size 14 from Partridge. And uh, I use some uh, brown olive, waterproof, super flying. What prof dry fly dubbing and uh, for hackle I use this kind of fly sorry this kind of feather is whiting uh, yeah, it's a badger but uh, use what you get uh, and um, use uh, this kind of tinsel wire 0.10 0.1 sorry <laughs> wire gold wire and I use uh, for wing bull elk cream uh, color I think yes and for the stacking the hair I use my trusty uh, stacker this is how this looks well and uh, the thread I'm using is a pretty strong thread it's a simple fly wax thread in size uh, 8 oh, I think then I'm gonna start tying this fly well I'm gonna pop up this uh, finished fly and in with a bare hook like this and uh, see if I can make it in a central rotation I did that this is a um, Norwise with the uh, fine point jaws in it and I start with the attachment thread and make a thread base and attach my wire securely get it on I like to take to take a long piece of wire so I can get it out of the way. So I put it in the materials clip, and I'm gonna make some wrappings to cover up this little thing. And and then I'm gonna take a feather and uh, take out the feather and prepare it take out some fluff in the bottom here tie it in with the shiny side facing forwards to get against the hook eye and then I take some dubbing dub it on dub it on to quick tie this fairly quick tie well now I'm gonna use to make the body like that make a little half hitch put this bobbin on the tread post this is a Norwise automatic bobbin and use my hackle plier prepare it put the feather in the hackle plier 
and use the rotation on my norise to make the hackle Palmer hackle all the way up to the hook eye almost like this and don't use so much tension on the hackle and then you can break it well I have to attach the hackle to the securely and use my scissors snip off the remains try not to cut their thread I managed to avoid that okay some securing wraps and then you take your you could take the, the wire the opposite way but this is so strong in a way make this wire just to make it shine okay attach that then I'm gonna take some bull elk here take out a little clump snip off like that and take out all the short hairs there's not so very much fluff in this uh, hair but there is some short hair and you have to pay, take it out some of it and you take your hair stacker put your elk hair in the hair stacker give it a good stack on the table take out the stacker and you see your tips are just the same length well now it comes then you take a little scissor and cut up the top hairs this is gonna make the base for the wing well now you prepare you measure out how long you want it to be I want it to be that long and change hands and make the thread two three times round wind it up and tighten securely tighten tighten for each wrap like that and then you take you change your hands take out all the fluff remains stubs and some securing wraps and take your whip finisher or whip finish by hand that's all of your choice like that well tighten up snip off the thread some winds make your thread posts bobbin on the thread post take out some uh, loose hairs take care of all the stubs now collect them in one hand clip up and backwards like that well there you have it what now comes next I want to secure that this don't unravel on me and I use this kind of resin I use this uh, Solaris this is a new type bone dry plus a more thinner bone dry that uh, Solaris have made earlier it's very nice very thin seeps in just like a thin lacquer take out this cap and use the fine syringe tip it to place a dab just on top of the hair and a little bit on the bottom don't take it into your hook eye and I take a little light my battery light is out of uh, battery so I use the AC powered one and zap it this fly is now secured of course you can use uh, regular 
lacquer. I have a little type here that uh, is both water based flyhead cement, but that doesn't cure as fast. So I use the Solaris type because I'm a Solaris Pro team member, so why not? It's the best product there is, I think. Well, then now the fly is finished. That's all I had for you today, and uh, well. I want to make the opportunity to thank you all for watching my video once again. I'm very happy for everybody who gives me feedback and subscribe, subscribe. I try to post the new videos as the days come along. So, uh, well, take this fly out on the water and fish it. Okay, bye bye and tight lines.